a look at how to simulate a press fit bushing. Here we have a green bushing in a blue hole. We'll take a section cut and turn on show interference so we can see where the parts overlap. So you can see there's an interference between the bushing and the part. So we'll begin by creating our simulation files in the Nastran Solver environment. And we'll create a multi-step nonlinear solution. And because we only want to simulate the press fit, we'll create only a preload subcase. If we had operating loads, we could create subsequent subcases to apply the operating load as well. So next we'll go to the idealized part because we want to prepare the model for brick meshing. We need to create one split in the blue link in order to get a successful brick mesh on the part. In order to ensure we get a congruent mesh across the two split bodies in the blue link, we'll go ahead and create a glue coincident mesh mating condition. All right, so now we're ready to brick mesh. Here we'll just show the bottom body of the link. And we'll use the until target so we could select multiple source faces going to a single target. Select the global element size and create our mesh. All right, the rest of the bodies are pretty straightforward to brick mesh. We'll use the automatic multi-body method for those. Now, I've already assigned a material to all of the bodies in the CAD model, so we can inherit that material in our simulation model. So no material specification is required. Next we'll create our contact and I'll use the automatic pairing algorithm which will search for contact faces between all of the bodies that are within our distance tolerance. Now if we're wondering how much of an overlap we have we can easily measure that while we're in the contact dialog. So here we can see we had three thousandths of an inch. I'll use five thousandths. Bring that out just a little bit extra to ensure we get the face pairs. I'll also specify a static coefficient of friction and a min and max search distance that correspond to that distance that we have for our interference fit, along with a little extra for some tolerance. All right, and lastly, we'll create a fixed translation boundary condition, and we should be ready to solve. So here I'll pause the video while we're solving. And we can also take a look at our time step convergence. You can see the time index in the bottom right of the solution monitor shows that it took about two minutes in order to solve. And now we're ready to post-process. So first we'll take a look at our stresses. In order for it to resolve the interference and there's our displacements.